pick it up there? Yep. Okay. Now let's do something that I think is very cool that you can do with Google. Um, I'm going to ask Google about the weather in San Diego. Then I'm going to ask about the zoo, but I'm not going to ask about the San Diego Zoo. We'll see what happens. How's the weather in San Diego today? Today's forecast for San Diego is 77 degrees and clear. Sounds like a nice day in San Diego. Yeah. What are the hours for the zoo? San Diego Zoo is open until 5 p.m. Okay, so I didn't say what are the hours for the San Diego Zoo. I just said what are the hours for the zoo. Tells me the San Diego Zoo is open until 5 p.m. Drops a marker there, and I can navigate to that place, or I can call it. Takes about five and a half hours to get there from here. Let's go. Don't want to go? If I didn't want to go, I'm just going to hit the X button here and bail out. But we can certainly use this system for navigation. Let's do that. Navigate to McCarran International Airport. Navigating to McCarran International Airport. That'll open up Google Maps. Head west. Create a route. And Use the middle lane to keep right and turn roll. left. Shows turn us left lane information as well as turn information. Wow. And, uh, you know, in 1,000 uh, feet, turn right time. onto Coval Lane. All right, so very, very slick uh, integration with, uh, with navigation. So we got we'll music there. apps, you've got navigation, phone, and text. Yep. Anything else? That, that's it for right that's now. It this for now. button over on the side here <clears throat> is uh, for integrated automotive apps, but Pioneer doesn't have any of those apps right now. Right. So really what this button is going to do is take you back to the Pioneer screen. Pioneer's main screen. Yeah, by, uh, so <coughs> you can also do that by touching the mode button. That'll take right. you out to the Pioneer screen. And you have the 8100 here has built-in navigation, embedded navigation. Right. We can get to the embedded nav just by touching the map screen here. You can see that, yes, we are in fact in Las Vegas. All right. All right, and we'll touch mode and we go back to uh, uh, to the radio. If I if I hit home here, I can go back to Android Auto. So it's similar to the CarPlay and the functionality of it. Just now we have handset control Android phone. Yeah, I think it's it's very similar to CarPlay. Some people will want to call this thing Android CarPlay. Right. But when you get into using it, you'll see that it really is very different in right. its own implementation. We're still sending text messages, making phone calls. Those things have those things aren't different. Oh, we right. forgot our message from Helen. Let's try that. Here's the message. Sounds good. How's 2.30 p.m.? So I got a date with uh, Helen at 2.30. <laughs> yes, you do. So how about email? Um, I don't have any implementation of email or anything like that at okay. this time. At this point, no yeah. no email integration. Okay. And what is there specific handsets that are going to be compatible with this? Okay. Since Android is such a, you know, funky kind of a platform. It is. It's a shared platform, so. Certainly, and it's very wide open. Um, right now, uh, Google tells us that it will work with phones that can run version 5 of Android, which is the Lollipop version. Lollipop 5, okay. Perfect. And as we understand it right now, when you first plug in the phone, it will prompt you to go to the Google Play Store and download the necessary software to make it work. Cool. Harry, thank you very much, my friend. My pleasure. Nice seeing you again, as you always. Too.